like god wow did did did, did you really do that like did, did you really do that and for me like for me me who wasn't striving to get into those arenas do you get me hello people no fun and joke aside okay <laughs> First off, I decided I wanted to come to you lot a little bit different, make a little bit of an effort, yeah? And I started doing my regular degular thing, and then I just started experimenting. I got a beautiful little palette for my birthday, and I just thought, why not try a ting? Why not try a ting? So I decided to go for a more dramatic look, took a couple shots, yes, just thought about, thought about some creative shoots I wanna do after lockdown, really, and so, here we are. So I want to welcome you guys to a new segment on this channel. It's called Let Your Hair Down. You're ruining it! And literally, this is just going to be a little space where we can chill, where we can relax, where I can do my hair, you can do yours, um, and we can just talk and catch up on what's been going on. So, yeah, I just wanted to have a little bit of a chit-chat with you lot, but I'm not really a do-my-makeup type person. I know it's very ironic because I've definitely done something today. But... Um, what I mean is, I'm not going to do my makeup on camera today. I'm going to take my hair out. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let my hair down because I'm going to go wash it after this. So, I hope everybody's good. If you want to get your little hot chocky, your water, your herbal tea, whatever you need, get yourself prepped. And, um, yeah, let your hair down with me. I'm going to have to work on that. I'm going to have to work on that. But you get the drift. The drift. Oh, God, goodness. This is just... You get the gist yeah i just been thinking this week because i've wanted to record this first let your hair down video for a little while it's funny because i've actually i've actually already got other videos for this segment and i'm definitely just barefaced in them ones hence why i was gonna do something else today but point is <laughs> Um, I wanted something to just address our current living and just something more current, more recent and more of a update on how things have been with me. And I really wanted to talk to you guys about what it means to have Godfidence. And what was just so interesting is as much as I knew what I wanted to say, when it came to saying it, I just wasn't feeling it. And one thing that I really try to make sure is that whatever i'm saying i'm feeling and i'm trying to live not something that i'm just saying because it sounds good but something that is actually like touching my heart right there and then and it's like it had been but then when i came to record it was like a little while after and i just wasn't really feeling what i was saying like i wasn't in tune with where i i wasn't yeah i just wasn't in the headspace do you know what i mean that wasn't the message that was on my heart um and I kind of also wondered like what's been going on because as you guys know from watching my other videos I've been trying to make more of a conscious effort to connect with God and I've been doing my devotional in the mornings, been using the Bible plans, doing a daily story but I just felt like something is still off and I just couldn't tell. I'm thinking like I'm doing, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do things whilst we are locked down like for me i need to be doing things um i've had the rest i've had the break i've also been ill like i've had it all but now with this being what people are terming the new normal like i need to look at what what do i not even normally do but when i come out of this what do i want normal to look like for me and if i'm still if i'm still in bed and that then I'm gonna struggle I'm really gonna struggle so I'm like you know what whilst I don't have any distraction whilst no one's on my case let me please just do let me just do stuff do stuff that I want to do in it do stuff I want to do however weird wacky crazy uh selfish whatever let me do these things because right now I'm undisturbed and then when I have to get back to life at least I've given myself a bit of a a bit of a foundation do you know what i mean a bit of a springboard to a bit to yeah to get the momentum going um so yeah loads of different things been happening i was watching a so so for anyone who does again anyone who doesn't know i am freelance um at the moment and 
I am a creative director and yeah, I've been doing events, I've been um, doing shoots, but this was all between like working and uni and stuff. So now I really have the opportunity to kind of like just go for it um, and to do more creative things around directing, around consulting um, people with their brands and things like that. So for me, I've been trying to, to yeah, use this time basically to brush up on my skill set, my knowledge and also um, experience um, and just kind of having conversations with the right people and things like that. So I tuned into a live that was put on by Social Fix, big up Mercedes Benson, the founder. And yeah, we, there was a talk. We were chatting to Flex God Daps, or should I say she was talking to him and he was just telling us, for anyone who does not know him, he has done videos from the likes of, well, most notably Migos, Bad and Bougie, um, Bear Tings, Bear Tings. But the point I'm making is he came and he was just talking about what his journey has been as a director um what it was like moving from england to america how he did it and just all these stories like listen hmm let me not get carried away in it because i have a point to make but the stories my man can tell stories like this live was supposed to be one hour but we were all engrossed yeah they allowed it to go on for three hours and i didn't even feel it i didn't even feel it no word of a lie i could have stayed there longer but we i was just learning so much um and just really being encouraged and there's so many nuggets there's so many gems um but i think one of the things that really stood out for me was around this idea of you don't have to get ready if you stay ready and I think I took I really took that on board in a sense of right I'm gonna be let me let me get things going let let me be putting in the work I need to put in because I don't know what opportunity is gonna come around I don't really know like after this happens what things gonna be on my doorstep and I need to be ready to take it I need to be ready to engross the opportunity and there's nothing wrong with that that is great but what I did find is that most most recently as much as I was confident in like the ability that the abilities that God has given me, that's exactly what I was confident in the abilities God has given me rather than confident in God. Like there's a big difference there. And I think for me, what was happening is I was identifying what I was good at, what I needed to demonstrate I was good at in terms of like a portfolio and what I needed to work on and making all these big plans and ideas and I would chat to God about them and I knew like or I, I at least would say like I know God's backing me on this or we've discussed this before so this must be right da 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 um but I think through me not feeling God's presence recently, I think the thing I was reminded of is I'm out here working, 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 working and saying, oh, I know God wants this, God wants that, but I'm not even talking to him about it. Like every moment after I've done my little 15 minutes in the morning, I am on go, like I say morning, these times I've been waking up afternoon, but the point is from the moment I'm up, I do my little 15 minutes of devotion and then I'm on go time. And what would be happening is like, I'm working but then I've woken up late and I feel like because I've woken up late I have now got to compensate for that time in the evening so I'm not going to bed until all hours of the morning then I'm waking up late again and I'm just stuck in this cycle of feeling like I haven't done enough and I haven't yeah I'm not like I have so much to give but like I'm not giving enough I'm not doing enough I'm not preparing enough and literally the revelation that hit me between last night and I believe this morning, it was basically saying, you're doing all of this, you're you're running the marathon, yeah? Or you're, in fact, you're doing up a sprint on what should be a marathon. And in that time, you're doing so much. Let me, let me even dial it back, let me dial it back. Before that came to me, I've got a video that I wanted to drop and I had started editing it, but it wasn't, it was a piece from an old video, a piece from a new video, and the two just weren't correlating. And because of that, I just hadn't dropped anything um, here on YouTube. And I'd take, you know, I'd basically not stuck to my weekly 
video. And I just kept thinking like, oh, but if I drop it, like, although the point is, I'm like, I don't know if the point's gonna translate the same way I intend it to, like, obviously what I'm saying still makes sense, but like, it's just not gonna be how I wanted it to be. And I think I just reminded like, Sometimes we are so caught up on making things perfect, making things the best, the very, very best they can be, that we miss that that's not always necessary. Like, I'm not saying don't give your best, but after you've given your best, we literally need to trust God to make up the rest. I gotta stop with these rhyming bars because I'm telling you, every video, every video. <laughs> no, but seriously, once you've given your best, you have to allow God to do the rest. and. I think without that sounding corny or cliche, what I'm saying is, for me, it's like, I always felt I'd never done enough. I'd never done enough. No matter how much work I was doing in a day, it was never enough. And I've probably been more productive now than I've been in a while in terms of my, in terms of professionally and vocationally, in terms of what I want to do. Um, I think beforehand I was productive in other ways, but right now with what I actually want to do, this is probably the most productive I've been in a while. But yeah, it just still wasn't feeling right. And yeah, that was the revelation. Like, you don't need to do the most. Like, give your best and leave it, leave the rest to God. There's even a sermon, I'm not quite sure who it was by, if I remember, I'm gonna insert it. But they spoke about when you're with God, you don't need to strive, you can stride. And what it's saying is, not that you shouldn't have ambition, but the things, having God is like having a superhero always on call. It's like having someone who always has your back, front, side, above, underneath, everything. So there are doors that other people can't walk through because them doors are too high. And God just comes and does this. And, and 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 gives you grants you access just like that there are things that other people try pe other people wait years and years and years and years to get to and god literally just comes and just catapults you into that opportunity like i'm gonna pause here because sometimes my camera does this thing where it just locks off so i just want to make sure that this part of the video has saved but yeah what i'm saying there's so much that like like there's things God can just do for you, yeah? And other people would be like, well, go on. Like it just doesn't make sense, do you know what I mean? And I think, I know one of the things that stood out for me is um, I've always been a talkative person. I've always been chatty, patty, that's me. But I was granted an opportunity earlier this year to interview at the BAFTAs. Now, I have not been doing journalism. I have not been presenting. I've been doing things locally. I've been doing things at church. I've been doing bits and pieces that I put on myself at places like uni or when I came back, I, done a, I did one event, but I have not been active. Um, and literally God granted me an opportunity to interview people who I wanted to speak to at the BAFTAs. And I was just like, I had to deep it because usually I don't take stock of things like this. I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. But I was like, hold on a second. Let me just deep this for a second. Regardless of what we may feel about certain places in terms of, I'll just say it, representation, diversity, equality. Regardless of that point, the fact is, these are still places that we hold in high esteem, that society holds in high esteem. And to be granted the opportunity to speak to different individuals who I respect the work they've done, regardless of the surroundings, but that I respect the work they've done, for me was just like, like God, wow, did, 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 did you really do that? Like, did, did you really do that? And for me, like for me, me who wasn't, striving to get into those arenas do you get me do you get me so what i'm saying is being reminded that we've got you're good like you're actually good and what i want to kind of take it back to is once i kind of recognized that last night and then came to this morning i was just reminded that sometimes we are caught up 
in our abilities, me, what I can do. I know that I'm good at talking or I know that I'm good at um, teaching or I know that I'm good at cooking or whatever it is. I'm so caught up in those things we know are our strengths that we run with them and don't like, we run with them and we miss what further power we could have through the Holy Spirit, through God. So for me, what that looked like is I had all these ideas, things that I'm trying to do, things I wanted to do, and I was going in, I was going in, I was doing them, I was editing, not for this YouTube channel, but editing up other content that I have, I was planning and prepping different things to do with my business and things I'm going to do after and things I can do right now all these things doing the most but I'm running so fast I can't hear God I'm moving so much I can't see him I can't feel him I can't I'm doing the most and it's like it reminds me of we when I did a retreat with my um the youth at my church, we went away and we did this game which was looking at focus, right? And with the game, what happened is everybody got blindfolded and we were split into four teams and then each team had like a team captain, if you like, who was stood in a different corner of the room. And they would say a word, you knew what the word would be, but you had to hear them amongst everybody else speaking at the same time. So you had teams where, um, the team captain would be shouting the word, let's say it was courage, 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 courage. Other teams, trust, trust, trust. And the team I had, we had Uncle Eddie. And Uncle Eddie, if you know Uncle Eddie, he's softly spoken. And first, first, if I'm honest, the first thing I thought is how am I gonna hear him? Because everyone's gonna be shouting and I'm gonna be blindfolded and I've got to get to my team captain. How's this gonna work? And the funniest thing was, he did not try to raise his voice. He did not try to shout or overpower everything that was going on. He just simply said the word that we had. Trust. 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 And despite all the other noise that was going on, I was actually able to tap into his voice and make it to him. And the maddest thing was everyone in our team we, we were the team basically that won. Everyone in our team made it to him before everybody else made it to their team captains. And it was just so eye-opening because honestly, when we planned to do that game, I did not expect it to have, I did not expect that to come out of it. But it really highlighted to me that that's how God is. It's that still small voice that is trying to speak to you, that is trying to offer comfort to you, that is trying to help you, but you have to tap in to hear it. God is not always going to do the most and shout and this and that to get you to listen. Sometimes he's just going to be speaking calmly. Oftentimes he's going to be speaking calmly. And it's for us to tune in to his frequency and hear what he's saying. So when I deep that, it was like I realised I've been planning things. I've been saying, as I said, I've been waking up afternoon, but I've been saying, you know what, girl, morning 6 a.m that's when you need to be up but my plan was 6 a.m i'm up i go for a little walk and then i start my exercise and i do this and i do that and i do this and i do that no after today i recognized you know what i do need to do certain things but first and foremost i need to pursue god and if you pursue god everything else will fall into place and i think the way that piece came to me hold on a sec people are being loud as i was saying it's like after thinking about the striving not the striding not striving after thinking about being confident in god not in my own abilities the final piece of the jigsaw was this morning um and the, the i was reading the daily story on the bible app and it spoke about habits and habits that we have and what spiritual habits we may have and for a lot of us the, the one spiritual habit we have is going to church and once that's kind of removed the question is like what do you have left like what if anything what spiritual habits do you have left and i think for me just kind of hearing that 
I was thinking, yeah, but I do spend time in a word and I do do this and I do do that. But I also saw where I had a habit I had that I had allowed to become quite major was, was just kind of, I guess, being a workaholic getting into a task and just being on it, on it, on it, on it, on it, and just moving at lightning speed to the point where I'm not picking up anything else. That can be good when you need to do tunnel vision, but if your tunnel vision blocks out the source of all goodness, of all light, of all everything, then it's pointless, do you know what I mean? So, with that said, um, the final piece of the puzzle for me was recognising that the habit I need to form, yes, I want to do more exercise, yes, I want to accomplish certain things, but first and foremost, I need to pursue God. I need to pursue God. And when I was doing that before, when I didn't give myself too much to do, but I said, right, God, hi. I had my morning with him, I said, all right. I read whatever I read and I said, okay, what do I need to do now? And I chilled. I didn't say, what do I need to do now? And then boom, I need to do, 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 do. no. What do I need to do now? Be still. What's God telling me? And through that, like, for me, through that, that's, that's how I will, I think through that, that's how I reconnect and I truly see what he can do, not what I can do, do you know what I mean? But what we can do, united. So, yeah i don't know that's like man that's the short version <laughs> that's the short version but honestly guys i'm just finishing these last couple of twists so yeah i just want to remind you really that when we're talking about even what i said about what i mentioned about godfidence like godfidence is literally being confident in god what he can do and in who he is not just being confident in yourself because if anything even like with this whole covid 19 situation we've been reminded that like we don't have control over the earth and if you're only confident in what you can do then you're gonna come up against a point where what you can do is not enough but when you know god when you know him and get to know him and know his abilities you don't have to worry you don't have to worry because even me right now as i said this is the year i've gone freelance solely and right now i don't have income like that coming in do you know what i mean i don't and it's it could depress me it could make me think oh i had stuff that i was gonna do and now I'd, I'd, those projects i don't even know if i can come back to them like it's just everything's cut but I can chill, I have peace because I know that at the end of the day, God sees the bigger picture and he is not going to leave me the same way he clothes, the same way he look after the lilies and all the bird them and all the animals and the insects, yeah, he's got me straight, he's got you straight, like, listen, God did not create you to just leave you and if you feel like that, that's what I'm saying, go and actually tune into him because he's probably trying to tell you something but you're not you're not able to tap into it do you know what i mean but anyways what i'm saying is yeah when you recognize who god is and when you actually read and see what he can do and the promises he's given us you realize that you ain't gotta worry like he has really got the whole world in his hands um he knows what he's doing and any opportunities you've missed right now any opportunities i've missed right now i'm not stressing because i already know bigger and better is gonna come through it's just the way it's just the way things go when you're in tune with god do you know what i mean i'm not saying you can't have bad times but your mindset is different so you're able to access different you get me so yeah that it is it guys this is the finished look <laughs> as i said this was no get ready with me this was really just i need to go wash my hair but I'm feeling this, you know. I'm feeling this. Maybe I will leave it. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it one day. Who knows? But yeah, guys. I don't know why I'm shouting. But yeah. 
I'm just ready to do my bit and leave God, leave God to do the rest. And I hope you guys also start to consider doing the same if you haven't already. Have a blessed week and yeah, continue to glow and to grow and to reflect in retrospect. Sorry. I'm done with the rhyming guys I'm done with the rhyming but yeah just enjoy yourselves have a blessed day and yeah man and man will see you win the next one peace